know that renewable energy will play a pivotal role if we're to decarbonize the environment. One of the key challenges with alternative power sources, such as wind and solar, is storing what they produce at scale. But scientists at the University of Jena think they've found the solution. They've developed a battery containing organic polymers that can cope with the fluctuations that result in renewable energy generation because of changing weather conditions. We need to buffer the energy, so even if there's a lull in the wind, we can use that energy. And this kind of battery, the redox flow battery, is perfect for storing large amounts of energy. The new polymer plastic-based batteries can store almost as much energy per kilogram as a lithium battery. But because plastics are lighter, we need a larger volume to store that energy. Another major advantage of this battery is the lower environmental impact. At present, most batteries rely on rare or toxic metal compounds such as lead and lithium. For example, vanadium salts are dissolved in acid to produce a traditional redox flow battery. But here, polymers are used in a liquid salt solution. Inside our redox flow battery, we've dissolved an active material, small molecules or polymers. We can compare it a little bit like how we dissolve salt when we're cooking pasta or putting sugar in tea. Now, when we have enough wind and electricity is available, we can bring an electron out of one side of the active material to the other side of the other type of active material. And in this way, we can store the generated electricity. Und so können wir dann den Strom speichern. The battery research project received a total investment of around 1 million euros. 800,000 of that came from the EU's cohesion policy. The Centre for Energy and Environmental Chemistry at the University of Vienna has also developed a thin battery that can supply power to smaller devices, such as medical sensors. The electrical circuit is compressed between two thin sheets of plastic. The special thing about this type of battery is that it's flexible and can be manufactured using printing technology. Moreover, we also use completely metal-free materials here compared to some other flexible batteries. It's also rechargeable, which means you can use them several times. Using materials that are easily available in Europe, the university says its new energy storage systems will be soon ready for market, ultimately offering a green and stable energy solution.